Alrighty, so these problems guys are really nice and basic. They're just simple conversion, um, conversion problems for pressure. And so what I'm going to do really quickly, I'm just going to write out the relationships that we know. The first one that we know is that one atmosphere, one ATM, equals 760 millimeters of mercury. So mm millimeters of mercury. And the last one is that we know that that equals 101.3 kilopascals. So remember, kilo is um, 10 to the third, so it would be 10 to the third pascals. Okay? And so in this problem, what I ask you guys to do, I give you... 3.23 atmospheres, and I need you to get into pascals. Now, normally I would ask you to get into kilopascals, so just be careful. This is going to be a two-stepper rather than just a one-stepper like all the other ones are. So for this one, I give you 3.23 atmospheres. Okay. I'm going to crisscross swoosh. I've got to put atmospheres on the bottom so that they will cancel. And I'm first going to get into kilopascals because I know that relationship. Okay, For every one atmosphere, there are 101.3 kilopascals. Now I'm in kilopascals. I don't want to stay in kilopascals because I want to get into pascals. So it's just super not bad to do. Give me just one more step. I'm going to put kilopascals on bottom. And then I'm going to get into pascals up top. Remember, in one kilopascal, there are 10 to the third pascals. So for here, I look, and so I just start off with 3.23 times my 101.3 times thousands, and I end up getting... Um, 327,199. Now, there are only three sig figs in this value because I consider the rest to be exact. I need three sig figs. So I do three, two, seven, comma, and then just fill it at the rest in with zeros. That's three sig figs. And my units are just pascals. And that's all there is to it. If I were to give you, for example, um, kilopascals and to ask you to get into millimeters of mercury, let's say I did that. So let's take 327 kilopascals, and let's say I say, go ahead and get me into millimeters of mercury. All you do, crisscross swoosh, KPA on bottom, okay, millimeters of mercury up top. So it's 760 millimeters of mercury and every 101.3 kilopascals. So you'll take 327, multiply by 760, and then divide by 101.3, and you get 2,453. I need three sig figs, so it's going to be 2,450. millimeters of mercury. So now guys you should be able to do any kind of pressure conversion because I showed you the basic which is what I'm doing right now. I showed you the possibly more complicated and the fact that I require you to go from kilopascals to pascals but you can do it all now.